Well, there's no question training for the Vermont City Marathon is no easy feat. That's for sure. It often presents a number of challenges. And this morning, we're showing you one possible way to overcome some of those. NBC 5's Jackie Pascal joins us live in Colchester now with one option that she's found. Hey, Jackie. Good morning, David and Alice. That's right. So a part of the new to 26.2 uh, training program through Run Vermont. It's all for the Vermont City Marathon. Uh, I decided to, you know, go get into this and run more consistently, more mileage, be very consistent with that program. But with that comes some aches and pains. So here is how I'm handling that. Work on strengthening exercises that a, the physical therapist might prescribe can help stave off injuries down the road. Following the advice of my new marathon coach. Have you ever had PT before? I have not. I've recruited a physical therapist to help me in my training process. What has kind of popped up since I started running more consistently, uh, some days more than others, my shins, I'll get shin splints of some yeah. kind. My physical therapist, Jill Fitzgerald, starts out by finding the irregularities. Good, yep, go ahead, come on back. Watching my walk. Anything bothering you there? Assessing my alignment. It's one rotated. And testing my strength. And so what I'm going to do is put you into different positions and just have you resist me. So we pushed my glutes. Uh-oh. <laughs> calves, ankles, everything I need to run properly and efficiently. And the glutes are really, really important for stabilizing the hips and especially with dynamic movements like running. And so what we want to do is especially strengthen up your glutes. So Fitzgerald showed me some exercises to incorporate into my training each week. Yep, squeezing, holding for three seconds and then lowering down with control. From bridges and squats to some work with a resistance band. Out. Together. All of this to balance out my muscles so they work together while I run. That you're not just doing one activity, but that we're balancing out the activity with strengthening, stretching, and some specific targeted exercises. For stretching. Usually there's some foam roller face here. <laughs> You know, yeah. you know you're oh in the right God. spot. Fitzgerald recommends rolling for a few minutes a couple times a week. A good habit to get into after runs. <laughs> I didn't realize I was saying that. <laughs> when it comes down to it, ideally if we can see someone early on, that's great. We can correct problems before they become a serious injury or may even prevent you from running in a marathon. So I'm picking up that foam rolling right now. It's definitely helping. We were working on uh, glutes yesterday, and so that is what I'm working on rolling out this morning. Uh, but again, this is all just part of that training program. I'm also adding strength training into my weekly training plan. Uh, I've been working with a trainer one or two times a week, so I'll be talking more about that in the coming weeks while we continue on this marathon series. <laughs> I know physical therapy and training and stuff, it's such it's like so good for, for so many different body things. What about like the, the rubber band? I know you said the the foam rolling is not great. Is it like a love-hate relationship the, with some of that? Yeah, yeah. So the resist, I think you're talking about the resistance band, so that's definitely helpful with the strength training. The foam rolling itself, I do have a love-hate relationship with it. Like, this feels good but also bad. It's like a good pain, um, but it's definitely getting out the knots that I need. So that way when I'm running later, I have seven miles on my docket later today, and so those will go a little bit easier while I'm stretching. That's fantastic.